Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we will see how we can connect a cPanel database to our Django application. Sometimes it may happen that your Django application is with some different hosting provider or in a VPS and you want to connect a database which is not installed in that particular VPS or hosting provider. It may be from any remote uh, database provider. So in this video specifically, I have a Django application which is running on VPS and I have a shared hosting. So shared hosting usually provide a cPanel and from cPanel we can create a database. So I will create a database from cPanel and then I will show you how you can add it to your Django application. So first of all we'll have to go to the cPanel and in order to go to the cPanel you'll have to go to your hosting provider. So my hosting provider I am using ChemiCloud. So I will give the link in the description you can uh, click on that and you can explore their services and if anything you like then you can use that first of all we'll have to go to cPanel so let me go to cPanel so if you have logged into your hosting providers account then cPanel will be automatically redirected and uh, in cPanel dashboard you'll have to go to database section and here you will have to create one database so i will use my sql database so i will use my sql database wizard to create a database and the database user so let me create a database called uh, demo django so the database name would be techie bl underscore demo django next step and now we'll have to create a username so let me just create a username called uh, demo and uh, django now we'll have to give a password let me type a secure password here we'll have to enter it again let me enter it again and click on create user and now we'll have to give the privileges let me give all privileges so basically in this step we are giving permission to this user to the database and then We'll click on next step. Now the task is completed. Click on return to MySQL database. And here we will be able to see that uh, we have created a database called uh, TechieBL Demo Django. And the username is this one. Now what you will have to do here, you will have to go back to the cPanel dashboard. And then same under database section, you will have to click on remote MySQL. So here you will have to give the IP address of the host from where you want to access the database or if you want to access this database from everywhere then you can give this percentage symbol. So I will give the percentage symbol because anyhow I am going to delete this database and uh, now click on add host. So the host was added to the access list. So we are done from the cPanel. Now what we have to do is that we will have to go to the Django application. So in my case Django application is hosted on my VPS and uh, you will have to go to the settings.py. So there only we will have to configure all the settings related to the database. So here is a section called databases. Let me just uh, remove all the hashes from here. Now engine it would be the same because we are using MySQL and uh, name their name is basically it's the name of the database that you have created. So in my case, it was uh, Techie BL Demo Django. And uh, let me correct the spelling. Now we'll have to give the username. And I believe the username was same as the database name. So I will just copy and paste it. And password, let me give the password that uh, I have used it while creating the database. Now here host is mentioned localhost but uh, it should not be the localhost we'll have to find the host name from the cPanel itself so let's go back to the cPanel and uh, from cPanel you will be able to see a IP address that is a shared IP address so you can give this IP address or you can also give uh, your domain name so in my case techieblogging.com is my domain name but uh, in your case it may be different so copy this uh, IP address and uh, paste it in under host 
so and port let it be the same and then click on control s which will save this configuration so the configuration part is done now if you want to see whether which database basically it's showing then you can go to command prompt then go basically to the path so in my case it's basically initpub slash www root then the project name and then if i will give dir then all the files related to my app is mentioned here so now let me just uh, type python manage.py db shell so basically it will take us to the shell from where we will be able to manage the database now if i am giving a command called uh, status so it will show basically all the information that we have with regards to our MySQL. So here we can see that the database is TechEBL demo Django. So whichever database we created, we are able to see it and the connection also we are able to see it from here. So this proves that uh, our Django application is basically using a database that we created from this shared hosting provider. So this is how you can uh, connect your cPanel database to your Django application so in your case it may be a little bit different but uh, the concept remains the same so that's all for this video let me know if you have any question then put your question in the comment section so that i can answer and uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that uh, you will get notification about new videos from my channel